Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a line chart to make your point. Imagine that you're an analyst at Click Conversion, a fictional consulting firm that helps small businesses leverage the power of social media marketing. Currently, you're analyzing the inbound traffic of a website for a company called Endless Time. They are a fifth generation family business that repairs timepieces. This business is actively trying to expand its customer base with an aggressive social media marketing strategy that includes daily photos posted on Instagram of vintage timepieces before and after repair, a weekly time-lapse video on TikTok of a collector's timepiece being repaired, a weekly post on Facebook telling the backstory of a customer's timepiece accompanied with a before-after repair photo, and finally, bi-weekly YouTube videos explaining the restoration process of an antique timepiece. You decide that the best way to show the traffic generated from these different social media platforms is with a line chart. At the top of the chart is the title, which explicitly states the time frame of your analysis. The first quarter is expressed as weeks on the x-axis, and on the y-axis you have the number of visits to the endless time website. The source of the data is Google Analytics. And finally, the different social media platforms are the four colored lines with accompanying labels. Now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis about the traffic sources for the Endless Time website. In the beginning, the executive summary should identify the strongest source of website traffic. For example, according to Google Analytics, Facebook is a constant source of traffic for the Endless Time website along with YouTube, which is seeing a steady upward trajectory in the first quarter. The middle section should describe the main trends shown in the line chart. Facebook provided a steady stream of traffic in quarter one with 5,000 visits, while YouTube, which contributed 6,400 visits, is a growing source of traffic with incremental bumps of 200 visits after the video releases on this platform. In contrast, early success on TikTok has fallen sharply from 400 visits in week 4 to only 80 visits in weeks 12 and 13. Instagram, on the other hand, has produced uneven results through quarter 1, peaking with 300 visitors in weeks 5 and 11. Now it's time to help Endless Time refine their social media marketing strategy with a plan of action. The unique benefit of social media marketing is that it allows endless time to develop relationships with people over time, as seen with the positive responses to the Facebook and YouTube postings. A closer inspection of the Instagram posts that garnered the most attention may identify the specific interests of potential customers, which in turn informs more targeted posts for the future. Although the time-lapse movies initially sparked interest on TikTok, users of this platform expect a greater variety of material to maintain their interest. The key is to continue creating high-quality content that not only develops people's appreciation of endless time, but also encourages people to engage with the brand. In summary, a line chart is a powerful way to show the relationship between variables measured on the same scale of reference over time. Yet, including too many lines into a chart can quickly diminish its analytical power. One way to overcome this shortcoming is to contrast the variable of interest with the others. Once again, thank you for your time, which is funny to say for someone who does not use a timepiece. Sorry, endless time. But I look forward to talking about another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.